What up, world? It's your boy, Phil. You know what it is. You know what it is with me. Yeah, not leaving, holding a stock, baby. But this video right now that I'm going to make, I'm going to do a special shout out to this brother right here, Anton Daniels. Um, if you don't know who he is, please watch his viral video. Um, and yes, this is a political uh, YouTube video. So if you don't like that, turn it off. But I'm giving this guy a shout out to, from the high heavens. And we, me and him have both different belief systems. You know, he is a, a, a Christian. I'm not. But I respect it because, man, this guy right here has been speaking nothing but truth, nothing but honesty, and nothing but facts that cannot be debunked. And I just want to give him a shout out because I feel like, you know, I want him to know that he is not alone in the situations that he's, you know, dealing with right now when it comes to, you know, talking to Harris supporters because some of the Harris supporters, especially black Harris supporters not even realizing they're being finessed economically. And what I try to do myself with my Facebook friends is I try to let them know, hey, man, you know, <laughs> there are certain things you need to know. And if you, you know, put this person in office, you're going to be dealing with hyper inflation. And many of them just refuse to, you know, kind of like. In his panel, oh my gosh, let me tell you about this panel here. I'm going to get to that in just a moment, but more praise to, to the homie right here. You know, every day I'm, I'm, I'm trying to tell my friends, hey man, look, I got, you know, I got evidence showing that, you know, under this current administration, they've been lackluster when it comes to the Federal Reserve and your bills are high because of that. It's not because, and, and you know, some of them do the whole, you know, the, the tap dancing, you know, one person said, hey, <laughs> well, uh, not not one of them, but a, a buddy of mine was like, hey, if 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 you ever talk to a Harris supporter and they just immediately talk about how they dislike Trump, they're doing the Harris waltz. <laughs> I thought that was hilarious. But but back to this situation here. This brother here, man, if you're black and in America right now, you need to be listening to his videos i've been i have subbed i have and, and if you know if you can get him to like talk to me or interview with me or something i just want to like give him some praise because man you are doing us a solid brother and i promise you the evidence and the information i got to say on this video you probably want to let you some of the panel know and you know let's let's talk about the panel here okay now I remember her, she was talking about how she just, you know, um, you know, it's a sister. We're going to vote for Kamala. It's just a sister, this and that, da, 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 you know, and, you know, of course, I didn't agree with that, but that ain't who the real problem is. The real problems are bro right here, chick right here, and bro right here. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa, bro, do you have a handful to deal with, bro? Because, and it ain't nothing against them. It's just really they are misinformed and uninformed and also a little bit of fear mongering that's been working on them that has been working on black Democrats for a long time, you know, and they're not understanding economically they really, really, really need Trump. And I'm going to explain that. But they're not understanding. All they're really saying is, oh, you know, Trump, he lies. Trump, you know, he spent money that caused inflation. And it's like, no, he didn't. That, that wasn't what caused inflation. But, you know, bro right here basically confirmed what I already knew, what they all were listening to. They all listened to analysts that are paid by BlackRock or paid by whoever, whatever entity to come out and discuss their biased agendas, okay? And let me make it clear to all three of you that you probably might see this video. 
I was once like you. I was once a sheep. I did not understand. I blamed Trump for everything. I didn't know because I was under the sheep umbrella. Then I became an AMC GME ape. Okay. Watching my stock be manipulated by hedge funds, market makers, and everybody else and short sellers. Okay. Come with me. Trust you're going to want to hear this. And I'm going to confirm something with Miss Molly. Molly, uh, I, I can't know it. She said, well, under Trump, I hated Trump, but under, under under Trump administration, my gas was $20 to fill up my tank. And now it's like 60 80 You know what I'm saying? It's costing a lot more money now. Right? So, many of them are going to say, oh, well, it's because, and a lot of my friends on Facebook that I debate with all the time, they be like, oh, Trump spent $8 trillion and that made the economy go crazy. I'm like, that doesn't explain anything. Biden spent hundreds of billions, damn near a trillion in other countries. Okay. And that to me is not even the core reason for your inflation. And I know some of y'all are probably like, what, well, what is it? What is it, bro? You don't know. What is it? Well, I'm going to show you something. And Anton, if you're watching this video, please show this to your viewers and please make them aware of what is really going on. What is really going on is banks, hedge funds, family offices that don't report their money and also market makers. They are taking from your tax dollars via the reverse repo and and this is the federal reserve and they are keeping their short positions open so that way with manipulation of you know bashing the stock they are trying to get apes to sell if you don't know what an ape is you see this little ape that i got up here right all people equal that means yes you could be white you could be black you could be spanish you could be asian you could be whatever you want right in this country or even the globe OK, there's many of us, there's four million of us that's understanding what's really happening right now in this economy right now. So. Based on what I just said, I'm going to show you with your own eyes. OK, this is to CJ, Victor and Jamisha. And just to confirm to Miss Molly here, because the rest of them, they, they stay kind of quiet to themselves. I get it because they, they, you know, they probably understand what's happening, but not really. But to Anton, I'm going to just say this. You need to show your people this chart. OK, please show them this chart. This chart is going to make a whole lot of sense once I break it down to you. OK, I want you to understand why it is important. OK, to put pressure on the Federal Reserve on their spending, why it is important. So here we go. Now, some of you are familiar with Obama, right? Look at these Obama years, right? Now, again, this is the reverse repo chart, okay? This is money that goes to hedge funds, banks, you know, uh, family offices that don't report their money, so you don't know what they're getting, right? So look at these numbers here. This is the Obama years, right? Obama get in, you know, he let the Federal Reserve spend a little money with the banks. They're doing this and that, you know, we just did. We're still dealing with that 2008 financial crash. Some of y'all not even really understanding. You really should watch the big short right now, which is a movie that's really, really important for especially black people to watch right now. Uh, look at the money that's been going out under Obama, right? Obama really didn't let them spend that much. Trump gets in, right? He's right there. He getting in. Okay, you can spend what you need, whatever, yada, yada, yada. Then, boom, banks didn't need no money. Banks didn't need that much money. They didn't need that much money. Then COVID happened, right? And a lot of my friends still blame Trump's handling of COVID caused inflation. It was those tariffs. Unfortunately, yes, tariffs do make prices go up. But that ain't the core reason of your inflation, ladies and gentlemen, because remember what Elon said to Trump the other day. He said, oh, inflation is caused by government overspending. And that is correct, because, 
You see Trump let them get a little bit, you know, for COVID, stuff like that. And then, as you can see, banks didn't need really anything. So, look, look at these days, banks didn't take anything, anything, anything. Even in, even, okay, now here we are. We're right here in 2021. Biden's in office, okay? He's in office. Banks didn't need nothing. They didn't need nothing. Look at that. That's February. They didn't need anything, really. Boom. No money went out. Look at that. March 1st, 2021, no money went out. But keep in mind of this. A lot of people got their tax returns or their tax refunds, right, around this time. And guess what they did? They bought two of the best stocks you are ever going to hear about in the history of the United States of America. They held, I am one of them. I held this stock, okay? And what ended up happening is these bankers, hedge fund, all of them upper echelon, they ran to the Federal Reserve because they're using naked shorts to keep their positions open. And what do they do? They're getting money. Look how much money is going out from the Federal Reserve, which is your tax dollars, and the banks. The banks. Look at that. Look at that. Look at all this money. Now, look at this, look at this number right here, though. That's 2.5 trillion. Now, mind you, imagine having to watch 2. Point such and such trillion going out each day, holding this stock, knowing that you won, and these short sellers have connections with market makers, family offices, bankers. They got connections with these people, and these bankers are putting in short positions as well. So they're running to the Fed, taking money out, okay, and putting money in the hands of market makers to create naked shorts, okay? Now, some of you that are unfamiliar with this chart, you will say, oh, well, see, look, the number's going down. See, that means inflation's being fixed. And <clears throat> wrong. This right here means that the Fed is going broke. They are printing, yes. They are tightening, yes. However, what is also happening is they are running out of FDIC insured money, okay? This is why they're trying to create CBDCs, and I'm gonna come back to that in just a moment. But they're trying to run the CBDCs, and they're trying their best to do everything they can to avoid a margin call. So if you're trying to understand what is really happening right now, watch the movie Margin Call. Also, watch the movie called The Big Short. This is ex explaining the 2008 financial crash because that guy, they didn't believe that one guy who said, hey, man, I saw the blueprint and the housing market is going to crash. Everybody was like, who doesn't pay their bills? Uh -huh. Until they interviewed a stripper who went to Bank of America and they bought she bought five houses that she didn't even qualify for. Bubble 101. What's happening now is in reverse. This is your bubble right here that you're not even noticing, that most of you are not even talking about, which is the Federal Reserve spending on top of Biden's spending with other countries. Okay? So, how do I know this to be true, Phil? How do you know if Trump is going to fix this? Well, for starters, the reason why apes like me understood what Trump was saying when he first came out this year and said, hey, I'm going to abolish the Federal Reserve. Now, I get it. Some of y'all saying he can't do that. Maybe he can't, but he got a history of putting pressure on the Federal Reserve. So right off the bat, he sold me. OK, and I'm not I'm not even a Trump voter, but I will be this year. So on top of that, Trump said, I'm going to ban CBDCs, meaning he's banning the digital currency that the Federal Reserve is trying to come up with so they could run away from this. OK, look at all this money that went out every single day since 2021. They've been printing money for banks every single day since 2021 okay most of you aren't even realizing that that's why i'm like yo <laughs> ricky smiley steve harvey dl hughley charlemagne all of y'all not even realizing what is really going on in the financial sector 
Okay? Now, also, Trump mentioned that he wants to fire Gary Gensler. If you're wondering why I'm voting for Trump this year, because those three things alone is going to stop inflation, is going to make motherfuckers cover their shorts that they created and ran away from since 2021. Okay, that's why you're seeing a lot of people say apes not leaving, apes together strong. You're seeing that often. Now, I want to play this video from Devin Nunes because Devin Nunes, and the reason why I know Trump is going to do what he says is because this is Trump's stock guy. His stock is also being manipulated by short sellers, hedge funds, market makers, everything. I want you to listen to what he's saying. He's letting people know they're coming for them. Hold on, let me get it right. Stop. I would say this, that, you know, I spent my uh, career in Washington doing some of the most complicated investigations uh, that, uh, that there's ever been in Washington, some of the biggest scandals right. that there were. And so if people are screwing with this stock, we're not playing games with them. We're going to find out because, you know, we know that with our retail shareholder base, we're not, you know, we're not stupid here. We know that all the big banks in this country uh, are not going to recommend our stock. They're not going to put it into their fund. So we're relying on retail investors to invest in the stock. That's right. okay. That's not a problem. But if the big banks and the trading companies don't actually have the shares to short, that's a big problem. So yeah. if they think they're going to screw with us and they think we're not going to figure out, I, you know, figure it out. I got, I got news for them. We're going to come after them. And, Amen. Uh, that's, that's what we're okay. Right there. You heard him. This is back in April. Okay. He said, we're going to come after you. Okay. Back to this chart again. We're going to come after you and we're going to fix this. We're going to put pressure on the Federal Reserve for all the spending that they're doing with banks, hedge funds, family offices, market makers like Ken Griffin of Citadel Securities, who's based out of Chicago. Well, he was in Chicago, but he moved from Chicago to my home state of Florida so he could run away from, you know, state taxes. And, you know, when he gets caught. OK, there's going to be some sort of, you know, situations. So, yes, Ken Griffin and I'm saying it loud and proud. Ken Griffin is the next Bernie Madoff. Just saying. OK, and he will be caught. They're just legality legalities that he's knowing how to avoid and he's going to be able to do it. So the reason why I'm not afraid of police immunity, I'm not afraid of none of that. OK, number one, I'm not out in the street doing dumb shit. Just like Anton says, we got plenty of people in the street that do shit. We know they do shit. You know what I'm saying? I'm clocked in just like the next person. I'm doing my thing. Yep, I got goons. Yep, I got killers, I know. But guess what? I don't need to activate them all the motherfucking... Like, I don't need to do that. You feel me? However, that ain't the real reason why I'm, I'm not voting for Kamala. Kamala looks suspect. Why? Because she bowed right here, right here, to not interfere with Fed spending, unlike Trump. See, that's how they get you. They use in certain words and certain like wordplay to make you think, oh, yeah, Kamala respects the United States, unlike Trump. Well, the Fed is showing you they don't respect you at all. They're just blowing their, your tax dollars on banks on days that banks don't need money. Now, most of you are going to say, oh, but this was COVID related. It is not COVID related. We, I can pull up another chart. I just don't have the time to do it right now. Also, the reason why I know I'm not voting for Kamala is because she's proposing a $25,000 down payment for support for first time home buyers. Ladies and gentlemen, it is it is exactly as I predicted. Kamala Harris as president will cause hyperinflation. Just based on the information I showed you just now, she's willing to spend more money that we do not have. More money that we do not have. So to answer your question, Miss Molly. 
right? Right here. If you're wondering why your gas was $20 under Trump and now it's way higher now, if you're wondering why you were able to afford uh, you know, $100 worth of groceries really well, you know, $100 to $150 and it, you'd be all right, it's because Trump, unbeneath us, because we were so under the Democrat umbrella, he was putting pressure on the Federal Reserve from blowing money with banks. And if you don't believe me, go look it up on YouTube. He was calling them out, calling them crazy, do all type of stuff. But Kamala and Biden literally ignored Federal Reserve spending. Unlike Kamala, who's vowing not to interfere with the Fed. You should really think about that. And with that being said, Anton, again, thank you for what you do. Thank you for you know, advocating for economic prosperity. I appreciate you. I watch your videos all the time. I watch them every day. And I want to make this video just to show you, you know, some love. So anybody out there, if you know Anton, if you, you know, just know him, something, give, tell him to watch my video. All right. I want to, I want him to see you so he can let his viewers know the real source of economic <laughs> hyperinflation on the way if we continue to let Kamala run the country she's going to spend 25000 in down payment and then what's going to happen people you know they're going to push the same thing jobs 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 yeah come and get a job you know we want to bring everybody over here so we can get them to do this and that blah 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 you're literally giving $25,000 to people who really don't even speak English in this country. You're giving 25000 to like random motherfuckers? Like what? And then everybody else, what we got to do? Everybody that's a black citizen, we got to jump through loops to get that twenty five. I'm sure of it. Oh, well, you got to do this. You got to do that. You got to do this. You got to do that. <laughs> oh, oh, we always oh, come and trust me. Because just like just like Kamala. Biden made promises too, right? He made promises for student loan forgiveness. He did all of that. But what he didn't realize, because now he can't even say, hey, yeah, your, your student loan payments can go down lower. He's realizing uh, all the money is gone. What do you mean all the money's gone? What do you mean we need all the money? Yeah, all the money's gone and spent with banks on keeping short positions open. So just know AMC, GME is going to bankrupt this entire economy. We've been saying this for years. We've been showing y'all the chart. Some people listen. Some people don't. Some people don't even know. And I'm like, yo, if Elon confirmed it, okay, he confirmed it. Yeah, government, he's, what are you going to do, lie in front of Trump? Yeah, government uh, inflation is the source of inflation. It's not because, oh, yeah, a, a supply chain blew up out of nowhere. No, it is not that. It is because the Federal Reserve, uh, along with Biden, has been blowing American dollars fast, which is why you see China running the gold, which is why you see Japan selling their yen. Oh, yeah, you don't know. Oh, some of y'all don't know. When Japan sells their yen, they're not going to put that money into the United States. They're going to buy gold because everybody knows that gold-based currency is backed by gold. What is the United States dollar backed by? You tell me. So with that being said, again, Anton, thank you, brother, for speaking specifically for us brothers out here that understand you know, hey, man, we want economic prosperity. We want, you know, to make sure we can protect our families in the United States because we live here. You know what I'm saying? We need to make sure we can pay our bills. You know, I get everybody. Oh, come on, man. You know, we got to. And, and, and a quick message to Ricky Smiley and all you D.L. Hughley, Charlemagne folk. Listen, let me just tell you this. Symbolic voting sucks. Okay. 
it's stupid. It's un. It's uneducational. It's like why would you sit around, run on the radio? You talk to people every day, and you sitting there using your platform to make people to to shame people to symbolically vote with you. It's gonna be a black person there. It's gonna be a black person here, and it's gonna look good. Yeah, but my bills are gonna be sky high if I let Kamala in there and she say she's not stopping the Federal Reserve. So you're not talking to no dummies, bruh. We're not listening to none of that. So be ready for a Trump administration. Because it's coming.